Okay, so what we explain is the announcement. We call this announcement media kit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this announcement is called media kit. You should also have. A website or a web page for uh, collecting info or landing page. Okay. Specifically for the book. Uh, specifically for the book. Or sometimes you can actually have a full URL for your book. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So when people being getting there, they can. Mm -hmm. uh, understand, get information you can direct them. And you should have a fan page for the book on Facebook. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. This is even different than from the authors the author's page, right? You make one yeah. specifically for the book. Yeah, I always try, uh, I, I like to make one specifically for the mm -hmm. book. And then you need to have, and what you also should consider is to have a press release. And press release, you should consider to have at least two press releases. One, when you start the book, and one when you actually publish the book. And this press release will go through all the media. And we do have access to like 3,000 media outlet email. We can send it to you through our network if you would like to. As a press release of the book, that this is a book coming. And we can talk on what the content, we can give you uh, a specific, uh, template for yes. media yes. for press release what is that on top um, a fan page no 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 press but release when you start oh and then when it's going to be published and when it's published okay and as i said we do have uh, templates you, if you want to use them and this is what will get you your book out we'll get media engagement and we do have access to 300 Sorry, 3,000 uh, email of different outlets, and we can send it through our media. You may also consider to go and uh, on different press uh, uh, release distribution websites, and you may want to invest a little bit if you'd like. So you can send uh, more press releases to create awareness of your program. Okay? To create awareness of what? Of your program, mm -hmm. not of your book. Okay, yeah. So when you write it, you have to make sure the press release, the, the, the material is there and the website is ready and the stuff of it. Okay? Now you can talk about a launch plan. So one of the launch plans is you will go everywhere you know and put your cards so now you announce and ask people to look at your card uh, when you s describe so the plan will be is I will step by step first step is I will uh, launch my cover second step third step and you, you just start to list them and try to understand where people will go. So if you do have your book and people wants to go to your landing page, you must have a landing page. If you plan to have a website, you must have a website. This particular book cover which we did, it's missing an ISPN number, right? We can get it on uh, on Tuesday, on Saturday, or we can get it today. Or if you wanna get it for yourself, I can show you how. Okay? You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what else, uh, your launch plan, you mentioned like launch the cover, that means um, you show that on, for example, on, on Facebook to your friends. No, launching the cover means 
I will uh, go have a book cover, a book page. I will have the website page and I will share the cover with the link to my Facebook page to everybody I know. And I will send a press release. I may send a press release premature. So the press release may come after a week because I would like to get all of my friends and all of my fans to like my book page mm -hmm. because I want to have a social proof. Now, what content you put on the, your book page is the content you have it from the media kit. When people ask you about, can you send us a summary of the book, is what you have in the media kit. Mm -hmm. So this is a, a media kit with a pre-order. But this is a media kit. This should go to the media. If they ask you for the media kit, you have the same four page with the pre-order form on the back? Yes. Okay. So this is how we did it. Good. When you go to workshops, when you go to any place, you can just say pre-order. Now, if you want to market your book, if you want to market your program in like different stores, mm -hmm. what do you do? You print business cards, size, the pre-order, and you leave, you leave it in different places. Mm -hmm. So you can distribute a network to pre-market your book. When people ask you, what about your book? They understand you have a program. So this can be also called as indirect to your book. Indirect marketing of your book. Okay, so you leave your business cards with uh, the business card on one side and the other side is the... You can, is you can. Is the advertisement of your... You can. Uh, advertisement of your book. You can, if you wanna have, uh, you can print new business cards where on the back of your business cards you have the information about your business book about your book the minute you have the cover 3d in a different sets different formats mm -hmm. there are so many stuff can be done what would be because you mentioned launch plan has like one two three what would be other elements of the launch plan when you will publish the press release Okay. So having social, having Twitters, having uh, scheduled Twitters, scheduled uh, press book, uh, LinkedIn uh, pr uh, pulses, mm -hmm. and shares, and now you start you have you you should spend some time trying everywhere to to tell people why do they have to buy your book. Now, if you have blogs. You can republish the blogs and at the bottom you say for more information you can order this book or you have more information mm -hmm. or for more information you can subscribe for this book okay does it make sense mm -hmm. Do you find this information useful? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, in some contest, this contest will like you to always speak about your book as forthcoming. Because you may want to include special chapters from special individuals. Outside you. Okay. So, like so houses? if I have this book launch like that, yeah. I can go and say, you know what, I would like to have a chapter on the dietrician or a chapter on business finance or chapter on anything. And I can go and figure out one company or one good name and I say, would you mind contribute to my book as chapter? At that time, you will add your book with contribution 
from or up. Which gives you additional authority. Which can give you additional authority. There are actually people are trying to use this book to raise money for the book and they, they can publish and advertise inside the book. Other people, uh, other uh, third party uh, businesses and at that time, this uh, other third party businesses uh, will be uh, will be what? Other third party businesses will be paying you money to publish inside your book. I don't like it too much, but you can if you want to have, because if I, my book is about my business, why do I promote and get advertised for somebody else inside my business? And this one of the philosophy which I really can, I like the model, like if my model is to publish a book and try to maximize the revenue of a book, and that's it. It's like, if my project is a book, I accept that. Okay? Mm -hmm. But if my model is to push the book in front of my business, to push my business forward, I don't see how you can fit other, other industry advertising inside your book. Mm -hmm. Because you are basically diluting and defocusing your yes. audience from the main goal of the book. But you can still have contribution from other authors. Like, I'm not um, like writing and saying this is con Marcel. this chapter. This chapter is contributed by Marcel, or oh, this okay. chapter is contributed by Cami. So if you would like to get help, if you if you would like to get uh, mm -hmm. help in the content, mm -hmm. and maybe on massage or neurology or something, mm -hmm. maybe Cami can help you on the massage side. Mm -hmm. And you say like a chapter on the role of the massage and you will acknowledge her as a contribution to the book, but you will still be the main author of the book. Yeah. You can do one or two of these. The reason for doing that is not only contribution, is also uh, give you more credibility that you are linked in the community. Yeah. And quite often, it will be something you go to their blogs or their public material. You can message it yourself and say, I would like you to write me about this particular area and I think this might be more or less the content please take a look at it and try to adjust it to whatever you want to publish with mm -hmm. me if they say yes so you don't get them to do so much work so a contribution cha contributed chapter it's acceptable like two or two two or three maximum one or two or three maximum but the model which is I really try to put my heads around it is how you can publish with advertising to somebody else and you try to serve it has to be like a mortgage brokers but everything else he's doing all his advertising is people who are providing other service than mortgage broker I don't think for the business coaching or the life coaching will work mortgage brokers could for example have real realtors in there right because they work closely together yeah but or or maybe for uh, fitness you may have a, a drug suppliers or a, or a food supplement supplier or a, a nutrition mm -hmm. supplier mm -hmm. who will be referred to and he will pay you money to be published inside your book for the lifetime of the book. At this time, we can talk about advertising kit. Mm -hmm. And, I, and uh, we can spend, if somebody has this in his plan, I can show you a couple of examples of how you can develop an, ex an, an advertising kit. Is that the one you show on the one website? Yeah, yeah. So there is a website, if you go to it, you will see the advertising kit mm -hmm. for one book. Mm -hmm. And actually I'm trying to get them as a partner. But it was too much of effort. So if I wanna get them as a partner, I have to ask them, I have to push them, I have to have marketer to connect with them which is not always easy. Especially if you don't have a track record of being a multi, like an author. So, mm -hmm. so the question will be is you wanna publish your book and market your program, or you wanna market your program and you market the book and you market the partner. If it's too much, you'll be overwhelmed. So that's why I, I don't recommend this particular when you talk about um, the lifetime of the book, technically, because you 
talked earlier about this, that you can print on demand and have like t 20, 50 books. Um, but the goal of the book is to publish between five to 10,000 copies. So at early on, you'll be able to put, you, you'll be able, <laughs> at early on, you should, you should order like 20, 30, 40, yeah. 100 maximum. And to prove them, because um, the books I ordered, actually, they have issues. And when I connect with the publisher, they said, with the print, they said, oh, yeah, this because of this problem and this problem and this problem. So if you try to go this route, you need to have a couple of iterations. And uh, <laughs> it's not trivial iterations. So do you want to spend too much money for it, or do you want to spe spend a few hundred dollars for yeah. it? But do you call it then like the second edition? You may want to, but... But uh, you don't have to. You can no, still you have, yeah. do changes and... You can do changes and the it, it at the first... Yeah. As the first edition, yeah. those who get the, yeah. the second prints have the... Modified version. Modif modified version. Yeah. Um, if you, for example, would run into the situation that um, one of your advertisers is not there anymore or... You can uh, remove them. Then, then, then you would be able to remove them, naming it the the third or whatever yeah. edition, right? Yeah. Because it, you're talking about the lifetime of. When you talk about the lifetime of the book, or is it the lifetime of the edition? Of the book. Of the book. Yeah. Which will be uh, about two to three years at least. Mm -hmm. And if you have more content or different content, you should have a second. Yeah, second and updated. Yeah, like. There are uh, leadership uh, coaches out yeah. there. They have six C books plus. So, if if we what what we recommend is if you would like to have more books, more editions, no, try to get 60, 70 percent new material, and take 30 percent from the old one and name it something mm -hmm. slightly different. And the question will be is how long your program will last and when it will change? Because remember, this book is for what? It's to get them in your program right now. It's to get them in your program right now. But it's the one that you have right now. If you change your program, you need most likely another book. And to be honest with you, when we go around and we find people having new books and they have the same old program, we always question, so are they offering us the old program and they will have a new program for the new book or what? Sh we should wait. Mm -hmm. So there are lots of psychology when you try to position a book with a program. And that's why what when somebody will tell me, what about book coach? Uh, this practice is not about book coach. Book coach can coach you what to write inside the book. Mm -hmm. But we are not about book coaching. And book coach will make money and the commitment will end when? When you publish the book. But the practice here is I don't would pref I would not prefer to publish the book before selling six or ten people my program. If you don't have ten attending your program on a regular basis, paid or not paid or discount paid, whatever it is, you have no programs. And the program will launch when you have a hundred people. So you can try your program on early adopter on five, six, ten. You can lower the price to get somebody early on. And then when you increase the price, you have the content, what you will do? You will, you will get more clients in. Mm -hmm. So, any questions? You should, uh, if you want to do a poll on uh, choices, you should just have one image. You put the books and one and two, and people will just comment one and two. Yeah, that's what I'm, but that's what I'm looking No, you just create one single image with both books in it. Okay, yeah. And then you create one and two. Yeah, you no, have to create the image. What happens in is on Facebook, you can say. No, the polls in Facebook will not be one or two. The, face, the polls in Facebook will be just text. And it's only on pages, not on, uh, if you have a page, not on a profile. 
So if you have a page, you can create a poll, or you have a group, you can create a poll. Yeah. But on our profile, I couldn't figure out how. Yeah. Okay. That's Any more questions on how and on, on how you launch? Any more questions? No, it's all clear for me. Okay. There are some aspects you have to consider. When you, tra when you launch a book, it's better to have the launch uh, with video and audio. So when I launched my first book, I had to hold the book in my hand. So this, were, this is used to be my launching kit. So I understand those people say, I'm now launching my book, mm -hmm. The Guide to Win. It's about how to how to win in your life, and my book will be pre br uh, preceding a uh, define your win, and I can help you define your win and guide you and when I guide you to win. Please pre-order my book from the URL below, or scan this QR code, and you go on uh, order my book. So that's why I had this mock-up. I, uh, I made the uh, two, two each. I only found one here. I think the other one I have in my other office. But uh, So I had this mock-up. And inside the mock-up, actually, these are not the book. These are just uh, scrap paper from old. Uh, oh, what I did is I went, I got some of these old uh, machinery guides. Mm -hmm. And I basically cut equivalent to my book. And I went to a press, and I asked them to cut this as a book and I tape it and then you tape it all and I tape it I glue it and tape it so nobody can open it but but you can see here that these are not yeah. Yeah. you can see yeah. even from here yeah. there is a uh, writing this is are the real books yeah. which is I do have sub some comments on the back of one and I do have some comments on the internal of the other one and I will fix them so when you order 20 copy each mm -hmm. is different then you order 1,000 and you, you find out that the spine is not there because you are missing or you find that they, they missed in the bag because the BDF file was not good enough. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, also, when we have these books on Kindle, Kindle has lots of problems with the BDF file. So on Kindle, some, uh, some downloads on Kindle could not be reading as a book. So the point I want to say here is, although publishing it yourself and having it on Amazon is good, but you may have some hiccups, which will take longer time to fix. So for Kindle or, or other platforms, do they normally convert from PDF yes. to Kindle? Yeah. And, and their, conversion, mm -hmm. their conversion did not produce the right things. So we have. I have to produce my own one, and I'm not sure even it's still working or not. Okay. So this is an area of exploration, and uh, you also will need an ebook, and the ebook is a PDF of everything. But in the front page, of, in the first page of the ebook, what you will have? For the cover. You will have your cover. So this cover, I will have it in the very first page. And, and then on the you have the back page too at the end, right? Not necessary. No. Not necessary. Okay. Sometimes you have the whole page, but uh, the idea of an ebook is to give it for free. And people say, oh, so we publish this book and you have the ebook and they give it for free. I say, how, where the money is? Is the money in the program or the money in the book? If you give 100 ebook for free and you end up having 10 people in your program, you make more money than trying to sell so two to three, two to five dollars ebook. Because I think your program will be more than 500 bucks a session or a month or whatever. And if you sell five buck, five books, five dollars a book on ebook format, which is very high by the way, because on the Kindle platforms, the prices are between 199 to 399 on the average, 99 dollars so common, and you have five days up to reduce it to zero dollars to to increase the download from your friends. So this Kindle uh, pro promotion and stuff all demonstrate that, and the Kindle also has a, have a commission from that. So you cannot sell a one hundred dollar ebook. Okay, you cannot sell a copy for hundred bucks. So 
the question will be if you want to give 100 if you give a hundred copy and you even get one client who's paying you five hundred dollar a month this will be much more than selling the hundred copy for five dollars because you have the client for a year mm -hmm. so these are the, the dynamics which people don't understand and that's why when you come and say but I can pay five ten thousand dollars to launch a book I will tell you wait 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 use the money for launching the program yeah. and they make the book part of the program like I don't mind if you come and pay me twenty five thousand dollars to launch your book but I would rather launching your program for the same amount of dollars because launching the program will get you more money more revenue than launching a book so you will make more money and you'll come back to launch other stuff with me and this is the dilemma we read in the statistics that on the average authors who are non-fiction author or business book authors will make about two thousand dollars per book and they spend somewhere between five to twenty thousand dollars to launch their books not and i think this will be in like first year and even best sellers don't make much because a bestseller status is selling a thousand copy and majority of them will line up the buyers and I'm not sure how many of them actually will give the buyers the money to buy the book or a special code to really make it cheap. So I know that, that one of the coaches uh, from I think Portland he gave the book away for free to make it the New York Times number one bestseller you just had to pay for shipping and that was it in order to to really say in all categories number one best or most categories yeah. number one best seller. i know individuals who spend a hundred thousand dollars to be the best sellers the washington post new york uh, times and uh, other best sellers he spent hundred thousand dollars it was important in his development stage to be a best seller yeah, so like, uh, if you books, launch right they were they were selling like a hundred books for just shipping and handling yeah and, uh, and to be honest, if you launch your program and you start to attract hundreds of people, you, there are individuals who will go buy their books at their standard rates to make them bestsellers. So there are so many ways to work out the system to get a bestseller status. So what's the value of a bestseller status? It's good if you have two, three, four books and you are very well known so you have the money to do it but if you just started you should we recommend highly recommend that you have a book and when you started uh, if you don't have a book you uh, are basically fight playing in a different uh, tier and the, and you may want to consider like for me when I said when I have my book my first book was actually a chapter in this book but I want to play in the tier of multi book coaches not single book coaches yeah. so if you want to play in these games and these tiers one book is not enough so you may want to consider now one other approach is if you want to have your workbook inside your workshop you will basically can publish your workbook as the workbook for the book. So you say this book is twenty dollars, and my workshop my workshop book for two hundred fifty bucks. And you make the workbook part of a second offer, so people can buy your book for twenty fifty dollars, and if they want to really learn, they can buy your workbook. And when your customers will come to your to your workshop training they will get the real workbook which is a beefed up version of it's not a beefed up it's the work out is the workbook is the workbook associated with this book sorry i didn't get that so, so in, in mass in mass and the differential equations you used to have the differentiation the differential equation book and you used to have the problem solved or the or the workbook of differential equation so this one give you the theory and the workbook will give you what? The solutions. The solutions and, and moreover, and more, more questions, right? Yeah. More questions for you to solve and their solutions. So what I'm saying is, 
you may decide to have your book and then have your workbook as a separate one. Complementary, complementary as a separate, but separate. But separate. separate. So people who understand the theory, and people who wants to come to your workshop, yep. can buy the workbooks. And at that time, when you stand and say, "I give you a workbook of two hundred fifty dollars," people will go to Amazon and see it at two hundred fifty dollars. The problem with that is your competitor will be able to buy your workbook, and I'm not sure what's the implication for that for your business. Okay, mm -hmm. so these are the, um, the, share, the, the sharing or the education which is we would I would like to share with you around the book. Um, there are lots of also messes and lots of people talk about why I will have a separate page, why I don't have my book uh, inside my own profile, why do I have a separate page for Facebook? For, I would actually recommend if you can have an unlimited website, you can have a complete WordPress for your book. Because everything there will be indexed over search engines. I understand, yeah, it's, an, it's another effort to maintain a second website, but this website will not beefed up too much. It's just one page. But if you have it, if you have it, if, if you submit to the search engine as a separate website, if you do this and this and this, it will be a different story. Mm -hmm. Now, when you look at these principles and these concepts, and you start to write your book, you can offer an audio version of every single chapter or every single topic. Mm -hmm. So you can record and you can read. Like, for define your when, I had like seven or, or eight episodes when the lab was working yeah, at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do have some recording where I just say, okay, so let's define your when, what's about, what you can do with it. So you have, you have them as videos on the, on the website? Right? I have it as them as videos. I, can, I offer them to my sub membership website. And when I use the, when I, and, uh, I have plans to put them as podcast, which is I didn't have enough time to really nail it down because the podcast has its own uh, its own thing as well so uh, because the, bot the podcast is been moving now from podcast sound to video podcast mm -hmm. so I was concerned should I just mm -hmm. the video podcast is you have an image yeah. and you have the audio attached to it yeah. And what you will do is you will basically post them on YouTube and get your podcast through, you, through your YouTube uh, channel. So I was considering, uh, I just got into the many things. But you should be able to publish your book as audio book. By the minute you write a chapter, you start to read it. And you can have sections from the chapters. So the whole project of publishing a book in this way it can be a very easy education to what sell your program because if this is my book if this is my program what I will do every time I read a chapter I can read it mm -hmm. I can make lectures on it I can put PowerPoint presentation for it and, and they record it as a course And if this book reflect my program, is when I teach the program what I do. I can get the transcript and offer it to people. So people will be able to read these chapters, utilize chapters, and when you collect your program, you can launch your book, or you can publish the content of your book. Mm -hmm. Earlier on, you mentioned Kindle. Are you publishing your books also on the other platforms like Google Books or, or iBook or so? I didn't uh, do much there because uh, for me, I just, uh, for me, I'm not interested in promoting the book. I'm interested in promoting the program. Mm -hmm. So you will find that there is a little bit of limitation you need to have. Mm -hmm. The biggest challenge for us when we started was this Kindle issues with the format. And this just uh, stop everything we do. And when the PDF have been copied from 
Amazon transfer to Kindle on their own, this what creates a problem for us. Mm -hmm. So in summary, a book for business is not about the content of the book and it's not about having the book. It's about positioning the launch of the book to support a more expensive program or a more or a higher price tag program and this higher price tag what you will do with it you will use it to fund the book application what you need to just launch the book is the shop is the cover of the book the three the outside cover of the book the small media kit which is summarized what will be coming in the book and all the pre-selling material pre-selling website and you put it out there, you may be surprised that in six months effort, nobody will, will consider your book or consider your program, so why bother? And you may be surprised that people can actually rebuy your books. If you um, want to pre-sell the book, you have to offer something different, so an interview with the author. If you have a little money and you want to really test this book and where it will sell get the book at a very low price pre-sell it and pay ad for it and see how many will download it how many will click on the pre-ad and how many will download it you can test in this way how much how many how much people how many people will resonate and how much money you can make from the pre-selling but pre-selling means you have a platform like in like or any other platform where you actually can sell books on it That's why when we talk early on about the platform, I said there's only one platform where you can collect emails, yeah. you can send emails, campaigns. Everybody said, yeah, there's so many and much cheaper. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can also sell stuff on it. And you can sell it yourself. And guess what? If you have a merchant account or you have a bank account, you can actually they transfer the money to your bank account. They said, yeah, it's 3% is too much. I said, no, 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 you don't get the point. You don't get the point. You don't need to invest time and money and energy in getting a separate merchant account, then getting a basket management tool, like whatever commerce out there, then getting an interface to your website. It's just one tool. Just one tool, you have everything in once in once in one area. And believe me, it works because if you have if we assume your book is 20 bucks and you can you can pre-sell 10 copies every month. This is just $200 over there. You are leaving it out because you don't have tools. Okay? If you are selling $30, 30, bu 30 books a month, one book a day, on the average, this is $300. So, if you don't have the tools, you are very handicapped. You are limited, limiting yourself to whatever outside and however people can scam you. But so this was one of the justification why for me when when I see such a tool I say you know what everything else is just uh, wouldn't work for me because I can sell simple stuff on this tool yeah. yeah okay and as I said if you are in our program you can always uh, show you and give you a trial and see how if, you, if you sell or not you know it is because we uh, it works so after the media component, you need to consider the public relation, or the, sorry, the, the press release. And the press release is what gets you to the media. And uh, there are so many individuals will try to tell you, oh, the press release has to be on Tuesday or Wednesday, and when we have no media. All of these are good optimization if you can. But believe me, if you have a press release and it didn't work, you may recently say, oh, guys, we send you this press release with anybody interested in an interview. The way to get you to the interview on the radio and TV as a book author is what? Is press releases. So when you send these press releases out, people may call you to for an interview if they have time. And if you send it out and, fi and uh, one week later you didn't get any interview, connect back with the editor and say, I wonder if you are interested or maybe you missed this particular uh, press release. I would love to talk about my program on your show. 
You don't ask, you don't get. You get only what you negotiate for. But that happens after the book is published, right? No, it I mean can happen. Even at the first yeah. stage when yeah. you start yeah. having that book out? Yeah. yeah. You should have at least two press releases. One when you yep. start. Like we went to different workshops and they say, okay, write that. Now you are an author of a book. The minute you start to think about the book, you are an author of the book. The minute you start to put the title of the book, you are the author of the book. You are not the author of the current book. You are an author of a forthcoming book. And if you don't like the concept of pre-selling, you always see coming soon. Coming soon is a pre-selling. Even Tesla, which is um, mm -hmm. the phenomenal car, yeah. Yeah. they have been pre-selling them. <laughs> and they didn't even have the factory to build, uh, they didn't have a plan to build it. <laughs> okay. And how many people bought it? Mm -hmm. This should give you an example of how you can, like when more than 300,000 individuals will buy a car that does not exist, Yes. And you are concerned that you don't want to sell your $20 book and people will not consider buying it because this is a misperception because these are like a thirty, forty thousand dollar item while your book is twenty bucks. I can tell you whenever I go and ask people to pre uh, pre sell my pre buy my book, most half of the room, most likely third to half of the room, will just fill the form and give me the twenty dollars. Okay, any more questions? So the reason for you, you need to own the content of your, of your, uh, mm -hmm. of your cover, because of what? Because everywhere you need to use it. You wanna build from it a specific image size for your Twitter account. You need to build from it a specific image size for your face pages. You need to build a specific page, a specific size for your website. You need to build a specific size uh, images for your media kit. For if you want, if you want to run advertising, you need to build advertising kit. So that is one of the reasons which we got there and say, you need to consider big publishers because they don't give you the, the raw material and the content, and they want to charge you all the time. And you may want to consider that you will duplicate this material in other books and other material. So nobody should have the right to it. In terms of content, you need to be careful that you don't copy from somebody else. Okay? There what, is, is, what is, for example, known, um, known, known things like, let's say, the 80-20 rule, or the Eisenhower principle, or uh, the power of one, which is, was published in a previous book, if you if you relate to this and, and you should be able to refer to make a, a, a decent reference of it like you reference that this yeah, guy it's not not, not just okay not writing what not the rule word, word, the rule word, of thumb is yeah. if you write word to word more than 20 percent or so yeah it will be a plagiarism and plagiarism is not under the law so nobody can sue you for plagiarism it's just a reputation thing yeah. copyright infringement is the a copyright infringement is a plagiarism. Mm -hmm. And in the copyright infringement, an image is very difficult. If you copy an image from somebody, it's an infringement. If you copy one or two sentences, or not really a page, but a page, you know, it's on the, on the border. Like nobody, if somebody is publishing a 100 page book, and I will go and I see one concept, and I'll say, okay, and I like this concept, which has come from this book, and I refer to his book. Uh, should I write it by the own word or not? It's always debat debatable. It's not people can debate if you should rewrite it with your own or your copy as it is. But it's just one page. It's just half a page. It's not. And you should consult with lawyers on this area. And when you consult, don't be surprised when you see so many lawyers telling different opinions because just taking the book and publish it as it is, it's a copyright infringement getting a quote from it or a paragraph from it, getting an image is an infringement. What you can do also is you can connect with the author of the book yeah. and say, hi, you know what? I really love this particular part and I don't want to recreate it. Would you agree to give me uh, rights so I can publish this book? So many of them would say, 
in exchange of just you mention my books there or because for them it's publicity when we deal with technical books it's different because in technical books you can have reference and you can have citations of other papers and refer to their research and refer to their books and stuff but you don't copy from the actual papers and when you try to copy an image usually the publisher for the technical paper will connect the other will communicate with the other publisher and the author and they get authorization to use it and they will always allow it. I never heard of somebody said no because it's more citation for your work mm -hmm. so don't copy another another idea of uh, if you are in the in the business for some time and you don't have a book but you have a blog you may want to write a book named maybe 51 principle of whatever business and you pick up 51 pages pa 51 blog of yours which uh, which is around and you make them as principles and you basically publish them in your book some people will write and say 100 tips yeah, yeah. on and these are individuals who are professional bloggers who can blog all the time and they hope they have content uh, and they can use this content to create a book so i can share with you a story how effect how efficient how efficient this particular uh, uh, approach there was someone who was giving 31 tips for authors and book publishers okay so this is the ebook if you don't so if you don't download this ebook what they will do they will send you an email on a daily basis on a daily basis with tip one, two, three, four, there's 31. And on each email, they ask you to download the book. So I did not download the book. So after that, they send an email every week. And then an email every month to remind me of the book if I would like to download it. So having 101 tip or 100, 101 advice or having a 31 tip or a daily, it helps. Because you can use this book for email and marketing campaign. Where are the stats on bombarding people like that and the return? If people don't like it, they will unsubscribe. Yeah, but what I mean is, what is the the return that that we get? People, are, people are doing it every day. I understand. Th there is a difference between people are doing it every day and a, a dif uh, between that and the fact that is that actually giving them results? Because you can do everything like what people are doing every day, you know, it doesn't mean that so it's giving them results. People who are doing this stuff. People keep doing diet and it's not giving them results. Yeah, but, and they keep but doing whoever it. doing these particular approaches, yeah. at certain point down the road, they will have individuals coming to their workshops and their events. So this is an effective. But nobody can share with you specific information. Because this is their, their secret sauce in their business. So having uh, sending one email every week or one email every two weeks or one email every two days or whatever, it's a function of how many people you have and how many of these emails will be open. Yeah. If this in and uh, uh, what was interesting the last week I learned is all the statistics about the email being opened is not right. Is not correct statistics. Mm -hmm. For one single reason, if you have your phone locked and you got the notification, you can read the whole email during your phone locked. 
when the email server will tell you that this email is open and read. And you most likely download the images or yeah. download them. So, so having a statistic of five to 10 to 20% only of your 9,000 emails have been read is not correct. And it never been updated. Like I do have very low statistics for some and I can tell you I got more downloads from the staff than the percentage of open the email. So it must be something wrong. So people are doing it and they create noise and you you need to be part of this noise to be noticed. If you are not part of the noise, nobody will notice you. Does it make sense to you? Yeah, actually that was my first thought, like how to eat your elephants, the 101 tips, or yeah. first, first bites I called it. Yeah. One one first bites. And what, what um, and if you have something like a title and one and one tips or one on one whatever, you may devote one weekend to write like 20 tips and then schedule them on your blog. And so what you need is like four to five weekends four to five weeks to finish the whole thing. And it will serve as, bi as, as information for your email, information for your blogs, mm -hmm. because nobody will go to visit your blog and keep reading everything, okay? But people still want to see the amount of blogs you have and how often you publish. So in my personal blog, I have more than 400 articles now in about uh, 17, uh, sorry, uh, 12 areas. H how is the effect if, so to say, nobody is reading those? Uh, because normally it's, it's shown, right? How many, depending on... Uh, no, no, it shows how many people like them, how many people share them. But yeah. not who read it. Yeah, not right. who read it, yeah. so... Not on the blogs. Yeah, that's true. You know? Uh, so the question is how many people, how often people will read, I don't know. And how often people will click on them and just forget it on the computer or open them on a different and the cloud, I don't know. But if somebody wants to qualify you as expert, there are elements. One of them is your blogs. You, there are few simple ways to track down. They click, but you will have to use something else, not the blog itself as, yeah. a, as a tool to track. Right? Unless that you have built something like visits. No, yeah, like there are pixels and there are visits and there are clicks and links. But my question is why do you want to track this information? Like I publish blogs, uh, I publish about four blogs in one side and the other one about maybe 12 or 15 a day. And we never really, uh, we're not really interested into how, into tracking this particular information. No, at the end it, it counts how many people are coming to your program. So how many... This is what I care about. How, how much in real engagement you had, not how, yeah. uh, how far you reach us. One is uh, ar around creating attention, and the other one is creating the results, right? Yeah. The, the ones who really sign up for the program. At the end, that's the only thing which counts. But I think the blog, it just supports your system or your program. Right. Yep. It, it is a resource for like a search, you know. Yep. So this is where we have to, uh, this is what we need to consider when we talk about a book, which is an industrial book. Mm. It's a book. There are some statistics you have to understand so somebody will say, okay, so why do you need to have a book? Because someone, when we shared before the quotation, he said his life had been changed when, he's, when he published a book, not an e-book, a real book. We also, some uh, released information about two weeks ago, they say 78% of people will uh, look for exclusively a printed book. 7% or less will look for an exclusively e-book. 28% will read a version of an ebook or a book. So the having the book is dominant. People will not throw out a, will not throw away a book. 
even if the book has wrong and has mistakes, we will not, well, people will keep it. Now, what is the importance of somebody having a book and just don't see it every day? I don't know. So, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to go through all of these assumptions, messes, approaches. People will say proven strategies. You will say it works for them and figure out will it work for me or not. I don't know if it works for me or not. That's why I should not spend too much effort on it. I should do to it whatever minimal amount of work and the effort to get me at the stage and then I can evaluate how many I can put of these books out. So having a book is a critical. But ha what's the difference between forthcoming author and a real author? What's the difference? At the end of the day, people want to listen to your message, not to your book. And I'm not sure how many of you here read, read, read books on a daily basis and finish these books. I do. You know? So every night. Days. I do. Yeah. Every no, night every night. Going to sleep, I could every up. night when you go to sleep is not the place where you read a business book. Because every time, every night when you go to sleep, you are not about to change your business. So if you want to build a business book, or as they call it, sometimes trade books which is a book has advices for leadership for fitness for whatever this is not the books which you read before bed these are the books which you read them during lunch hour in the morning when your brain when you want to ready to apply stuff not ready to sleep this is like educational books so did you read your books in school before you sleep no you read the book, you finish the homework, and then you go to sleep. Well, yes. To read, uh, to read. Yeah, sometimes I do it on my bed because I'm already there. Yeah. So this is why I'm, I'm always like when people, when someone say, you know what, I I want to rewrite this chapter. Don't rewrite the chapters, man. Just get some chapters out there. That's it. Move on. Yeah. I have a statistic which demonstrate 0.05 percent of the books will actually have the cover open. Because there are so many books that you, you will not be able to even count the, the titles. There are so many books coming on a daily basis as new books. So getting through that crowd is very difficult. The only way is to ha establish your program through the having this kind of books, to be seen as expert. And if you miss in one book, it's not bad. Do the second book better. But if you wait till having all the books and the book will be perfect you will never ever finish yeah. okay okay so in summary we explained how to position the book what media kit you need advertising kit social media and it's right now the time for you just to put it to practice and we can have another session on con on how to get content and how to get uh, effect effective content through which should be should which should be a next stage for you after you sell your program any more questions just let me know or email me and uh, we'll be in business we are in business we are in business i That's don't good. know i don't know about you guys but i am